Welcome back, everybody. We are here with Crackle's own Chris Woolsey, who is freezing up in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so cold, Raven. I don't, I mean, the holidays are clearly here. Wait a minute, we're both in Southern California. It's like 83 and breezy outside. This is ridiculous. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, you know, we kind of have oh. to play it up for everybody else, right? You know, exactly. make them exactly they're not the only ones suffering at this point. All my friends on the East Coast who hate me right now. That's my entire family. <laughs> 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 like, oh my gosh, you have such amazing weather. And I'm like, yeah, it rained, but I like this weather, like when it's a little cooler and I do too. You know, although the um the daylight savings has been throwing me off. I don't know. I, I don't know what's up with this year. Has it yeah. been affecting you too? Because it's been yes. crazy. It it the especially the first couple of weeks, it was just yeah, it was a whole thing. And then I just get to, at the end of the night, it's dark too fast. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I again I do love this weather, um, but it, everything's just throwing me off. So <laughs> totally get it. Well, let's dive right into it because we do have a long list of amazing things that are coming to Crackle this month. And I'm just so excited because it's the holiday season and we've got some good stuff on there and stuff that's not technically related to Christmas, but still amazing. Absolutely. Yep, for sure. So we've got the, we, we like to think of it as the full spectrum of holiday titles. So yeah, I mean, you know, everybody loves Home Alone and Christmas Story and and elf and you know but you know there's there's sort of a uh, uh a limit to the number of times that you can watch each of those each season so we want to throw a couple more goofy titles into the mix for everyone and so we have a great one this month it's called christmas break-in and that's with uh denise richards mm -hmm. and danny glover now if there was ever a combo that you never thought <laughs> would be in a movie together it would probably be denise richards and danny glover but uh that. <laughs> yeah but they they kill it it's amazing it's such a good movie it's kind of a um a female centric version of home alone so it's a little girl who's uh been stuck in her elementary school and there's some ne'er-do-wells that are trying to get in to ne'er-do-well <laughs> and um, they uh, find that the uh, little girl that they've come up against uh, is is much more than meets the eye. So it's super goofy, super fun. It's great for the whole family. Grandma can watch this one. It's awesome. That sounds like it's going to have a lot of laughs in it for sure. Yep. Without yeah. a doubt. Well, I will definitely be tuning into that one because, you know, first off, we we need more holiday movies, like you said, instead of just the the normal. Don't get me wrong. I will watch them. Oh, yeah. um, yeah. But I also watch some of them not in the holiday season either. So, sure. you know, so I'm 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 always about enjoying the uh, festive movies whenever I can. So, all right, well, be sure to check that one out. Cause I mean, again, like you said, Denise Richards and Danny Glover. I mean, it, even if you didn't want to watch a Christmas movie, just to see the two of them in a movie together. Absolutely. That sells itself, you know? For sure. For sure. <laughs> Get the added bonus of, you know, a kick butt kid, you know? So it's like, all right, cool. Let's just watch this and see what happens. Those are always, kick butt kid movies are always pretty fun. Oh, they really are. They really are. It kind of makes me miss. I feel like you just coined a genre title that never had been coined. Kick butt <laughs> kid movies. I think that's a that's a thing now. Like Dennis the Menace and yeah. and Christmas Break In. I love that. I think yeah. uh, you're going to go down in cinema history for this one. Yeah, we need to make that happen. All right, I'm trademarking it. No, I'm just kidding. Fine. Everybody use it. Just give me credit. <laughs> just say that's hey, right. she came up with this. No. <laughs> All right. Well, what do we have next? Because I know we also have some, you know, rom-coms and, and some more spiritual ones. So let's yep. talk so about the next on, one. On the spiritual end of the spectrum, we have uh, The Chosen Christmas special, Christmas with The Chosen, The Messengers. Now, I don't know if you're aware of the, the series The Chosen. It's a, um, it's a TV series based on the life and ministry of Jesus. And oh. we have season one on crackle season two is coming soon i've been told and then season three is airing uh elsewhere and then we'll be hopefully coming to crackle but i have to say 
it is, and I, I don't want to oversell it, but it might be the greatest Christian TV series ever created. Uh -huh. Everything about it is spectacular. The writing is great. The, the um, production values are spectacular. The acting, they got these amazing actors who, when I actually went and dove in, in they've they've all done a lot but they aren't like you know sometimes you see the the like the bible movies and you're like oh i, I saw that that guy was in a, a commercial for cheese like it's just like <laughs> yeah. they're it's weird to see people in bible movies that are like super recognizable yeah and these people aren't but they're they're incredible actors it's actually the largest crowdfunding project of all time wow um, it, They've raised, I believe, more money than any other crowdfunding project ever. And at the moment, it's had 330 million views around the world. Oh uh, I'm gosh. not joking. I ugly cried through the pilot, and I don't think I missed uh, a sob fest through all of season one. Like, it's it's so good. I can't even tell you. Highly recommended. And you can binge the whole season one uh, on Crackle right now. So. Oh, Wow. No, so I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, and this not... is a Christmas special. And what it is, is it's a it's a musical um, retelling of the nativity story. Oh. And they, not only do they use cast members from the series, but then they also bring in big name uh, Christian musicians. So they have uh, Phil Wickham, who's one of the biggest uh, worship leaders in the country. There's a band called uh, For King and Country uh, mm -hmm. that's very big. And and Brandon Lake is a huge name in Christian music. Um, and that's just a few of the many, many uh, super talented musicians they have. Um, so it's sort of like one of, the, it's like a throwback to like the eighties, you know, where you would have these like musical extravaganza spectaculars mm -hmm. um, with all these uh, stars in it. So it's really fun. It's beautifully done. And I cannot say enough good things about it. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. I, I grew up, uh catholic mm -hmm. um i do not attend church anymore but i still love watching different things that come out that are about jesus and christmas you know kind of seeing what reminds me of you know going to catechism and stuff like that you know all the things that they taught us and and uh my grandfather when he was alive would literally go to church every single day and whether it was just to you know, give thanks, pray, go to mass, whatever, you know, light a candle, whatever he wanted. That's what he would do every single day. And then of course, Sunday was, you know, sure. church day. And, yeah. um, we would always watch things like this. So okay. even though he's not with us anymore, it'll be a lot of fun to watch this, but also speaking of the musicals, my mom and I used to go and see Jesus Christ superstar. Like that was, that was my, cause it was like a rock opera and it was so cool. But every time, you know, what's going to happen at the end and you still ugly cry. You're just like, Oh, it just, it gets you every time you're like, you know, what's coming. So, um, it'll be really cool to watch this even without the musical. Um, I do want to watch season one as well. Cause it just sounds, it, it's, it doesn't sound like it's as cheesy as what I remember, you know, the, the old school. When you see the actor who portrays Jesus, mm -hmm. not only did they cast someone who looks like you think that someone in that, you know, time period and in that region of the world would actually look like as opposed right. to the Aryan uh, actors that so often got cast. Right. And, um, but his demeanor, you just, you, after five minutes you just go yeah i'm pretty sure this is what jesus acted like like i mean he's <laughs> but they also do it's written by um uh dallas jenkins whose dad jerry jenkins wrote the left behind series and uh dallas which was like a huge bestseller in mm -hmm. the 80s and they made like a couple of like they made movies with uh nicholas cage and and uh kurt cameron and oh i remember the left behind yeah yeah, yeah. i remember I a lot like of my friends watched those Sure. And I feel like Dallas was like, I want to go my own way and do my own thing. And he wrote and directed this series. And uh, again, it's it's spectacular. And the the Christmas special is just sort of the icing on the cake. It's just uh, really, really well done. And um, yeah, it uh, it puts your heart in the right place. I'll tell you that watching watching this. So check it out. I think you're going to I think you're going to dig it.
Oh, definitely. Well, I, and then after obviously ugly crying, we might as well jump into some romantic comedy. Yes, and we have a doozy. So we have Meeting Mr. Christmas. Now, uh, there is a greeting card company out there who makes films who uh, that, that tend to do really well during the holidays. And this particular film is uh, sort of in that vein. It is... Mm -hmm really fun it's like it's like a like you said it's like a rom-com uh christmas movie meeting mr christmas it's about a um vacation blogger who hates christmas and she has to go back to her hometown of course uh during the christmas holiday to help her mom with a charity event of course and in the process she gets thrown together with the town doctor who it ends up is Christmas super fan number 99. And uh, <laughs> so she has to work with this guy who just drives her bananas because of his affinity for the holiday season. And um, let's just say romance ensues, but uh, it's really good. You're gonna love it. It's a chicken soup for the soul original. Um, it was great. So. Well, yeah, I watched the trailer for it and it just, it, it made me chuckle a couple of times. I'm like, and you know, sometimes you, especially with these, because there, there are a lot of them, like you said, there is a specific card company that probably hands down just can write something, you know, in their sleep because they've been doing this for so long. So sometimes okay. you, you can usually tell where the, the story is going to go, but you still enjoy them nonetheless. So I'm really excited to watch this one just because you know, it's a little bit of a different type of story. Again, you know, sometimes they kind of all fall in line, but it just, it looked so cute. Yeah. And you could just tell he loved Christmas and you can tell she loathed it. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be good. Let's, let's see these heads, butt about this and, and see what chaos ensues. So yeah, it's, I'm, it's super cute. This movie could not be sweeter if it was made of pie. I'm just going to oh, say. It. I great. like that. I like that. Yeah. That's a good way to explain it. All right. Well, we'll definitely be checking that one out. Okay. Awesome. And then after all the mushy mushies, you know, and all the tugging at the heartstrings and happiness, let's get into some action here. So yeah, for sure. So we have a couple of doozies here as well. So we have sleigh bells um, <laughs> and that is S-L-A-Y-B-E-L-L-E-S. -L -L -E so you've got mm -hmm. three cosplayers, adorable cosplayers from the South and they stumble onto uh, a little, uh, sort of a new part of the, the Christian lore uh, known as Krampus. And I don't know if you're aware of the Krampus, but. Oh, I am. And I have used that on my, like my family members. I'm like, uh -huh. do you just wait it's for a the Krampus? Thing now? There's like dozens of Krampus movies. And I don't know mm -hmm. when this, like, it seems like it just took off in the last four or five years, but. Or was yeah. this an older thing and I just missed out on it? I don't know. Well, I know that there have been some like B horror films that have kind of touched upon Krampus, but it goes back to like old lore and, and like, even I'm, I'm sure my family members who are still in like, you know, Europe, they probably still use this, you know, okay. it's basically to scare the bejesus, so to speak, out of the kids to be good. Otherwise okay. you get in the sack. Like it's, it's, it's creepy, but apparently gotcha. it works to make the kids be good so that they actually get presents. Um, well, um, these <laughs> these cosplayers run into old old Saint Krampus or whatever, whatever he is. No, I like that. And they um so they think they're in like in big trouble when all of a sudden a certain Saint Nick makes an appearance and the girls team up with Santa Claus to battle Krampus. So oh, it's, it's super fun. So it's like a weird uh Christmas action um uh, amalgam there it's it's uh it's great that just that sounds so amazing like i i i'm actually i need to see if um if i know who any of the cosplayers are because i know some cosplayers from well, this that's right i forgot you're like totally plugged into that that world and i'm like who are they who are you they might. i don't know if they were like professional cosplayers or if they were just cast as cosplayers but, oh. uh, well, yeah, we'll, still, we'll take a look later because okay. let me know i'd be interested 
I'll, I'll put that in my, my little notes, um, you know, when we, when we post this, because I'm very curious to see if I recognize anybody, cause it, I love that stuff. It cracks me up. And there are actually a lot of like big cosplayers in the South too. So I'll, oh, yeah. I'll definitely, uh, I'll okay. keep you posted on that. <laughs> awesome. I look forward to an update. Um, <laughs> but then if, if that's a little too dark for you, we also have Christmas Twister. And this is starring your friend and mine, Casper Van Dien. And um, Casper in this, uh, who's always wonderful. You and I both got to hang out with him uh, just a little while ago at uh, Comic-Con San Diego. And um, you know how great he and his wife are. And um, so he is the star of this film. And he plays a uh, meteorologist, of course. Um, who is trying to warn the world that there is a gigantic tornado that is going to come and rip through the city in Texas where he lives. And of course, no one listens to poor Casper. And so eventually this tornado, of course, shows up and then Casper's got to rescue, you know, the, the world. He's got to save the day. He's got to save the day know. like he always does, okay? <laughs> Although there yeah. is one movie that, I, what is it? Is it Mad Heidi? I think it is. I haven't seen it yet, but that yeah. one, I'm like, maybe he doesn't save the day in that one based off the trailer. Oh, but every, I saw, but I everything saw the else, for that, yeah. I was like, he he is such a well-rounded actor. Like he can go from being the sweetest thing to a complete psychopath. And I'm like, okay, it. I don't understand how people just, you know, if you... I'm sure everybody has heard of him. Okay. If you haven't, you're living under a rock, but if you haven't, it's amazing, his talent and, yeah. you know, just watching trailers of different things. And then I like, I'm like, oh my God, he was in sleepy hollow. Cause I watched that again. And I'm yep. just like, no matter what you always enjoy what he's in. So I can't wait to watch this because who doesn't want to see, you know, there's going to be some flying plastic reindeer in that twister. And I cannot wait for that. Okay. Absolutely. And if it's not, then there I'm going to is, yell at whoever did it. There is a flying something in that movie. <laughs> and when you see the scene that I'm talking, you'll know the scene when I, when you see yeah. it, and you'll go, oh my gosh, it's so great. Like you're um, like, okay, surely that's not going to happen. Yes, it is. Here it comes. Oh, it's I awesome. love it. Yeah, you're gonna love it. I love it so much. Yeah, that's definitely um, gonna be actually the first thing that I watch. Yeah. Maybe I'll watch it at the gym. I don't know. I gotta go to the gym after this. So we'll see what I'm gonna watch, but I gotta make sure I'm not gonna be like laughing my butt off while I'm on the treadmill because I'll run out of air. Totally, totally. <laughs> well, so just in case that's not enough action for you, we also, you know, the, the last few years, Die Hard has become this like, like Christmas darling. And we thought, well, if Die Hard can be a Christmas film, why not The Expendables? Yes. So I absolutely Expendable. loved the first one. The first one, oh my God. I mean, not that I didn't like the other ones, but the first yeah. one that came out and Red came out. And those two were like, I watched them a million freaking times. I could probably so recite them. So yeah, well, I mean, it's just such a great premise. It really let's, is. It really let's is. Let's get all of these, uh, you know, washed up soldiers of fortune played by guys who played soldiers of fortune in their yeah. youth. Like it's it's brilliant. Whoever pitched it, I, I just I want to give them a big hug because it's the most brilliant pitch mm -hmm. uh, in the world. So uh, we have all th we have the entire franchise all three <laughs> expendables and i mean and you know you talked about we talk about you know all these action stars but it, it really is a who's who of, of the last 30 years of action films it's sylvester stallone jason statham arnold schwarzenegger dolph lundgren um jet lee mm -hmm. uh, bruce willis um chris hemsworth uh or liam hemsworth um wesley snipes yeah, because uh, they just start throwing right. in, like, I think the originals were, it was definitely Sly and Sly. Uh, Jason Bruce Statham. Willis, I think. Was it Bruce Willis in the originals? Yeah. Huh? Was he in the sequel? Was Bruce Willis in the original? Bruce was in the sequel. Okay. Because I think, did he show up with Arnold or was Arnold the, I don't remember, but they they all eventually show up, but the, yeah. the original 
it didn't have them. And I think there was something with like recording uh, times and stuff like that or sure. film times. Yeah. Can you imagine um, trying to get all those schedules lined up to film these things? Oh God, because they're all busy. There and then I like was like- days in the entire year when they're all available. It's like, all right. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, look, they're having a Planet Hollywood reunion, you know? Yep, <laughs> totally. All... And so it was just, it, it was so much fun to watch because yeah. it's it's almost like in the sense the the Fast and the Furious movies, you know, they're just absolutely ridiculous and everybody should have died in the first five minutes. Right. But it's just, it's not like a Michael Bay, I'm just going to blow stuff up. You know right. what I mean? Like you're just, it, there's still some unexpected things, but it's fun and it's witty. And yep. you're just like, this is great. Like, cause them working together, you can tell they just had so much fun on it. Oh, yeah. um, and that's the great thing. Like you guys bring in a lot of stuff where you can just tell that they had so much fun in the camaraderie with the filming. So they're just there. It's good quality watching. Right. And that's what I love about crackle. You guys always have good quality watching. So and I it's, always, it. it's always free. So that's even better. Yes. yes. So yes. in a day when, uh, you know, other people out there are trying to charge you to watch commercials, Crackle still says, no, it's free. If you're going to watch commercials, we're going to make it free for you. So that is uh, awesome that you are having such a good time watching all oh of gosh. the movies that we are bringing in. I, I really shouldn't watch as much television and movies as I do, but no, you like should. That it's Absolutely. free. Should yeah. So I'm just going to watch to my heart's content until it's That's two right. o'clock in the morning and then realize I have to be up four hours later for work. You know, it's, you don't who cares, have to whatever. Bad you That's take right. a nap. You just take a nap. It's fine. Exactly. Um, wow. This is, this is a great month. I mean, look, they've all been great months, but they just keep getting better and better. Chris, I'm telling you. It's we just... are working really hard down at Crackle HQ to bring you the best of the best. Oh, I just, I love it so much. And I know that, you know, people who have already started tuning into Crackle are enjoying it. And those of you who aren't, let's, let's get on it. The, 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 no time to waste. There is way too much to watch. Okay. And you need that to fill up sure. your holiday time with all this fun stuff. So yep. um, you're, you're going to have plenty of time over the holidays to watch all of it. And you have to, because in 2023, we've got a whole new truckload coming your way. So, oh boy. So. Oh boy. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to prepare. I'm going to have to prepare. We're going to make Absolutely. it work. Oh, you're going to the gym. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got to get all that energy so that I can stay up longer to watch everything. Exactly. Oh man. Well, I cannot wait for 2023. I mean, this year has flown by so fast, but um, I just want to thank you um, for, you know, being with us again and sharing everything that Crackle has. Um, I have just enjoyed our monthly meetings so much. Um it's always fun to, to chat with you. And I hope that you have a wonderful holiday. Um, and everybody else, don't forget to tune in. Check it out. It's free. You're crazy if you don't. It's like the Christmas gift that just keeps on giving. Yes. And mm -hmm. what not to give during this, you know, amazing holiday season. That's Check right. Out. And Raven, thank you so much for having me again this month. It is the the highlight of my month. Coming oh my here. God, you're too kind. So thank you so much. All right. Well, you have a wonderful holiday and we will talk to you next year. You too. We'll talk soon. <laughs> Bye.